friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez and today I'm going to be doing the Christmas home decor tag. This tag is by Eclectic Kristen and Sean over at Hearth and Soul. I do strongly suggest that you go check out their channels. I am currently obsessed with Eclectic Christian and her tree, her style is very, very similar to mine. So I definitely suggest that you go give her channel a look and also don't forget to check out Sean over at Hearth and Soul. I love both of their channels. Now let's get started with the questions. I wrote them down on my Ray Dunn notepad and I hope I can understand my own handwriting. Uh, let's get right on into it. Question number one is, when do you start Christmas decorating? And I just kind of start whenever I have my tree. Um, I used to decorate in December because that's when we would get our tree. This year we got it a little bit sooner, so I started decorating sooner. Um, if I don't have my tree, usually I'll start doing little things around the house just to kind of ease everybody into Christmas here at my house. This year I am much more active over on Instagram and here on YouTube, so I start a little bit earlier than most people, but it's usually before Thanksgiving. Question number two is what is your Christmas decor style? And I don't think that I have a decor style. I think I just kind of do whatever it is that I want. Um, sometimes I feel like my Christmas decor looks more rustic than others. Other times it's more traditional. It's just whatever theme I'm doing that year, it's what I do. But most of the time I pull um, inspiration from rustic and glam. It's usually both of those somehow mixed into it. For example, this year I did more of a glam and at first all of my inspiration was leaning more towards rustic but I do have a lot of kind of glam items um, here on my tree. I do have a video on my tree if you want to watch that. Question number three is do you host for Christmas Day, Eve, New Year's Eve or Day? And no, I do not host. My home is very small. I hosted one year for Christmas Eve and I don't think I'm that good of a hostess, so no. <laughs> um, we usually celebrate Christmas Eve with my in-laws, my mother-in-law host, and I'm kind of like her co-host because I help her with the cooking, I help her with um, the guest and just everything else, but I wouldn't call myself a direct host for that because it's not my home and she's the one that does all of the big cooking I help her sorry and for Christmas Day we usually spend it with my parents and we usually wake up really early in the morning and drive over to their house and that's where the kids open their Christmas presents and that is my favorite because my mom makes a lot of tamales and that's like a Christmas staple for us for Christmas Question number four is, have you ever had a white Christmas? And the answer is no. And honestly, I don't think I ever will because I live in Southern Arizona where snow is nowhere, nowhere near us. It's too hot here for any kind of snow. And it doesn't even rain here that often, so that makes it even less of a chance because it never gets cold enough. And then if it is quote unquote cold enough, it just doesn't rain. So there's absolutely no chance of me having a white Christmas. I've only seen snow probably about twice in my life. And that's it. Question number five is can you name the seven reindeer? And the answer is a flat out no. Not even going to try. I do not know the song. I know Rudolph and that's about it. <laughs> Question number six is how many Christmas trees do you have? Um, because again, my house is small, I don't have room for a lot of Christmas trees. So I have my main Christmas tree behind me. We do a small Christmas tree in my son's room and I have other little Christmas trees around the house, but the only decorated tree would be this one and the one in my son's room. So I'm gonna count that as two. I did ask my husband how he would feel 
about a Christmas tree in our bedroom. And I even mentioned when we have like our dream home that's gonna have a big master bedroom. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. And I said, sorry, I shouldn't have asked because I'm still gonna do it. Question number seven is, do you decorate the inside or and outside of your house? And I only decorate the inside um, the outside I do have a wreath and sometimes I put wreaths on my garage lights um, that looks really really pretty but that's it my husband refuses to put Christmas lights up because he said he absolutely hated when his mother <laughs> made him put the Christmas lights up in their house when he was a teenager so he said he does not want to spend any time doing it I told him that I used to do it with my sisters over at our parents house so I can do them in our house if he doesn't want to but he said no my son thankfully doesn't ask for them anyways I know that if he asked for Christmas lights my husband would do it but since he doesn't we don't celebrate again here in the house anyway so I don't feel that there's um, a really big need or want for Christmas lights outside I'm hoping next year that we'll be able to finally do them because I did see this apparatus that I want to buy that helps you put up the Christmas lights so maybe next year I'll be able to decorate the outside with no help from him because he refuses to so my mom always says if you want something done right do it yourself because I know if I have him do it they're not gonna look how I want to I am too much of a perfectionist to let him help me anyways <laughs> Question number eight is gift wrap or gift bags and gift wrap 100%. I do not like gift bags because I feel like it takes the joy away from unwrapping your gift because you're pretty much just putting your hand in and getting something out. And I feel like the magic of Christmas is opening up your gift. Um, I love the surprise factor the time it takes to unwrap a gift. We're all watching that one person, um, telling them to hurry up or telling them how to or not to rip the paper. For me, that's all the fun. So I am 100% a gift wrap kind of person. Now, if it has a weird shape where it just absolutely cannot be wrapped, then maybe, maybe I'll do a bag. I will always try to still wrap it. Um, and I'm very picky about the gift bags that I choose for the same reason because I feel like it just takes away from it. Question number nine is, do you buy new Christmas decor every year? And the answer is yes and no. Um, there are some things that I use every single year. And because my husband and I have only been married for, I don't even know how long we've been together. My husband and I have had a home, have had a home together for only about 10 years. And we didn't use to decorate for Christmas at the beginning. I think we've been decorating for Christmas ever since we got our home, um, ever since we got this house. So we've only done Christmases here, like fully decorated is what I'm trying to say, for about five-ish years. Um, so I don't have enough of a collection for me to say, no, I can do a Christmas where I don't have to buy anything and then Christmas lights go out and you want other little things. So yeah, I do buy some new stuff every year. I'm hoping to one day have a really good solid collection to where I will no longer need to buy any Christmas decor. I'll just replace, replace lights and such. My mother-in-law, for example, has a beautiful, beautiful collection of Christmas decor that she is able to reuse every year. And she's one of those people that now only has to buy very little things or like statement pieces, something that is going to define her theme for that year. Um, so I want to be like that one day. I had this theory that in five years, I would be able to have um, pretty much all the decor I wanted and needed because every single year I could do a new color and then at like the sixth year I would have all of the colors that I want and that is partially correct but I feel like I'm still going to want to buy new things because 
uh, your style changes, um, different things come in trend or you want to do different things, especially for me that I change my Christmas theme every year. Um, sorry, husband, but I will continue needing to buy new things. I do try to buy very budget friendly things. I try to buy quality over quantity. So I always um, buy a signature item that is a little bit more expensive than the rest and then the rest are just kind of things that I have. Question number 10 is do you use a star, angel, or something else as a tree topper? And we always use a star and we just embellish around it because I think stars are too small. They're always way too small. They don't give me that wow factor that I want up on my tree. Um, last year I DIY'd a star. Um, I have that over on my Instagram. I wasn't doing too much YouTube then. Um, I am going to do the video for my Christmas tree topper here pretty soon. Um, but again, we always use a star. I just embellish it. We've been using the same star for probably five years, but last year I didn't use it. Um, I got this star on clearance from Target and it used to be $15 and I got it for I think $3.50 and I love it. It pretty much fits every single theme I have done. It would have even fit last year's but I wanted to DIY my own star last year and that's just what we use. Um, I've always loved the angels as the tree toppers but I've never found one that I was absolutely in love with. Um, they do have one at, not Walmart, I'm sorry. Actually, I don't know if it's Walmart or Target. They have this really pretty one that kind of looks like stained glass. Actually, it's pretty sure it's Target now. I really like that one, so I'm gonna try and see if they still have it after Christmas. And that might be one that I start using because it's beautiful and I've never had an angel up on my tree and I've always kind of wanted to try that. Number 11 is what is your favorite Christmas carol? Um, I don't have a favorite Christmas carol. The songs that I like, I'm pretty sure they're called hymns, um, and that would be The First Noel. I just love that song so, so much. And then another Christmas song that is not really a Christmas song, but I heard it first during Christmas. Um, my son sang it for a Christmas show that he had at his school, um, and it's Mary Did You Know, the Pentatonix version is just my absolute favorite um i like to listen to it more during the holiday but anytime i feel like a little spiritual <laughs> pick me up per se i do really like to listen to that song every time i hear it i cry and if i don't cry i have the biggest knot in my throat because it just makes me feel just very grateful and it gives me all of the good feels inside just it, it's just a feel-good song. Well, it makes me feel really good, really grateful. Um, I don't even know what to say because I just love that song so much. Just thinking about it is giving me a knot in my throat. So let's just stop there. Strongly, strongly suggest that you listen to that song. Question number 12 is what is your favorite holiday movie? Uh, my favorite holiday movie is definitely A Christmas Vacation from the Griswolds. That's just funny. I love it. I don't, I can't quote you anything. I just love that movie so much. I think it's hilarious. It's just, it's just great. My son watched it for the first time this year and even he really, really enjoyed it. Um, other than that, I'm not a big Christmas movie watcher. I don't know why, but they're just not my favorite kind of movies. But that one is for sure one that I absolutely love and adore. I will always watch that because it's just funny. Question number 13 is what is your favorite holiday tradition? Um, our favorite holiday tradition is just opening the gifts on Christmas Eve. I, I love that. I feel like it's kind of like the cherry on top of the night ending. Um, we're not big Christmas morning people other than the fact that we go to my parents and then the kids open the rest of their gifts, my family does open gifts on Christmas morning, my side of the family, I'm sorry, but my husband's side of the family opens it at midnight and ever since I started spending Christmases with them, I absolutely loved that idea 
I feel like the kids don't have to wait. I, I just prefer it. Question number 14 is eggnog? No. No. I can't. I've never tried it. It just does not sound good to me. I am very picky with what I drink. Like, I don't drink almost anything other than coffee, water, um, some soda, and it has to be a specific color. I don't drink certain colors. I know I'm weird. It's fine. Um, so eggnog is a definite no for me. Question number 15 is fruitcake, and the answer is I don't know. I've never had fruitcake. Um, it doesn't sound appetizing because of what people make it sound like, but I've never had it, so I can't just say, oh no, I hate it, but I can't say I feel like I would like it because I don't know, and I'm just not a sweets kind of person either. Um, I don't eat a lot of cake, I don't eat a lot of dessert, so I don't know, is it sweet? Is it too sweet? Is it bland? And that's why people don't like it, because if it's bland, I'll probably like it. <laughs> Question number 16 is favorite fragrance around the holidays and it just has to be Christmas trees. I love the smell of Christmas trees, whether it's balsam, fir, pine, I love that smell. If I buy any candles, um, that's what it would be. It would be something fresh and crisp and clean. I love, love, love the smell even of like pine soul cleaner. That's just my favorite throughout the year, so especially during Christmas, that's my favorite fragrance, is the smell of a real Christmas tree, the smell of real garland. Oh, that's just, it brings me all the Christmas feelings. Question number 17 is, at what age did you stop believing in Santa Claus? And I don't even know, I'm going to have to assume that it was around 10 nine-ish? I don't know. I really don't know. My parents were never really big Santa people. Like, they weren't the kind of people that would tell us, like, behave good because Santa's watching throughout the year. Even during Christmas time, they never were those kind of parents that said to us, behave because Santa's watching. Um, I'm Mexican, so I, I grew up with more Mexican traditions. Um, so we didn't have any, like, elf on the shelf or any of that kind of stuff. So because I didn't grow up with that, um, I feel like I stopped believing sooner. Um, and then I always saw my parents buy Christmas gifts. So it was more of a deduction that he just didn't exist. I don't know. But I don't feel like I believed in him for a long time because even now as a parent, I don't feel that it's very important myself to make sure that my son believes um he never really believed in it even if i started he just never really did and i don't know where that came about it's not like i told him not to or i said he doesn't exist my son just never did it either me and my son are very similar in that way so i don't know that was a very long answer for a very simple question sorry about that and also, I feel like some people may not like that I said that, but that's just the way it is. I'm not a big Santa-believing person, neither is my son or my husband, for that matter. <laughs> Question number 18 is real tree or artificial tree? Um, we have always been real tree people, and that's why I used to decorate a little bit later because I would have to get my husband to have time after work to go take us to buy a Christmas tree and then we all have allergies and I feel like sometimes we were allergic to it but we refused to believe that we were because we loved the smell of natural Christmas trees and because it just feels good to have a real Christmas tree in your house so this year we decided against it. We bought our first artificial tree and I love it. I love it that it's, I don't need to do anything to keep it looking nice. Um, before I used to have to keep moving the ornaments because some of them, because of their weight, were bringing the branches down. 
and then I hated that it was drying. After a certain point, my cat always wanted to drink the water, and I would put the, like, I call it medicine, but I know it's not medicine, the thing that'll help it stay greener more often. And I was always afraid that my cat was going to drink that, and that would be like poison to him, and he would get sick, or I don't know, I'm, I overthink things sometimes. <laughs> So this year we decided that it was better for us to have an artificial tree and I'm loving it. Um, I can use candles or other things to make my house smell good. So it's been a fair trade off I think and we were able to get a larger tree this year than we have other years because um, we have a certain budget in mind every year for Christmas and what we're going to spend. and. We would always end up getting about a six foot tree and then we would always try to do something to make it look taller but still this year we were able to get a seven and a half Christmas tree and I feel like it fills up our living room much much better and we did spend over our normal budget for a Christmas tree but we know that it's going to last us a long time and I did a lot of research on Christmas trees and I got the very specific branches that I wanted to ensure that it would last a long time. So my Christmas tree has at the tips um, the plastic feeling branches and then further in it has the tinsel looking ones because that's what's going to one store better and two last longer. So. Hopefully, I'm going to have this Christmas tree for a very long time. I told my husband that somebody sent me a message, and it's true, somebody did send me a message on Instagram saying that they had their artificial Christmas tree for 15 years. So, for 15 years, if I divide it, it's going to be $10 a year for a Christmas tree. So, I think that's a very fair trade-off. Question number 19 is white or colored lights. Um, I like to do white lights. If my son ever asked me for colored lights, I would do it. I wouldn't have a problem. I don't think it would add or take away from the Christmas tree. Obviously, I wouldn't do like an all white Christmas tree. Or maybe I should. That would look really nice actually now that I think about it. So I'm neither here or there. I have all white because that's what came on my pre-lit Christmas tree. And I did add another row. My son's Christmas tree has colored lights um, on his, so it's just whatever you feel looks best for your theme is what you should do, and that's kind of what I do as well. Question number 20 is, how long do you keep your decorations up after the holidays? And I keep my Christmas tree up until January 6th. Yeah, January 6th. Because, again, I'm Mexican, so we do celebrate um, El Dia de los Reyes Magos, and that's on January 5th or 6th. I, I don't know. I'm bad at this, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just how long I keep my Christmas tree up. After that, um, I take the decor off. When we have the real Christmas tree, we would probably have our Christmas tree, just the naked Christmas tree, um, here in our living room probably for about another week or two after I took all the decor off because again I would need to have my husband help me um, take out the Christmas tree because at that point it's it's heavy and it's dry and it hurts to move it so we would always keep it a little bit longer than needed the rest of my decorations kind of gradually start coming down since um, probably December 26 um, I do kind of a winter decor so I take off anything that says Merry Christmas that is around the house and if I have any Santas or reindeer or anything like that I start to take off and I mainly leave my greenery and Christmas trees and that's why I buy really really neutral um, plain greenery nothing frosted nothing with um, glitter or anything like that so that it can stay neutral throughout winter and then once the Christmas tree is fully out, um, it just makes kind of like an empty, clean slate of Christmas decor, um, transition, transitioning into just winter decor. And that's it for the questions. Um, I know I talk too much, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I really hope that you enjoyed my answers. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please don't make, please don't forget to subscribe. I cannot speak today. I don't know. 
why. Uh, but anyways, I really do hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I hope that you enjoyed the rest of my content here on my channel. Again, please subscribe. Watch some of my other videos. I have um, some Christmas DIYs. I have some decorate with me. I'm going to be doing more cleaning videos. And because my channel is fairly new, I feel like a lot of you guys don't know me yet. So let me know if you want a QA. and a um, Maybe start leaving me some questions um, down below and maybe I'll ask them on Instagram so that um, you guys as my subscribers can get to know me because I love those type of videos. Uh, those are always so fun to watch because you get to know the person and you get to understand why they answer certain things in a certain way and why they speak in a certain way, why they use certain words. I just love those kind of videos. I feel like I get to know the person behind the camera. So leave me some questions. Thank you again. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. Um, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas. Happy holiday season. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.